guys. Welcome to another ASMR gaming video. Today I'll be playing NBA 2K16 in honor of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna who were tragically killed in a helicopter crash yesterday. Um, this video is also dedicated to the other seven victims um, that were on board. Uh, who unfortunately also lost their lives. Um, my heart goes out to all of all of their families, their friends. It's just so shocking. the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Chicago Bulls against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. Looking at the Lakers, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. Well, without a doubt, the best thing to happen to the Lakers this offseason was jumping up in the lottery to land the number two overall pick, which they used on D'Angelo Russell. Kenny, how much does this help the Lakers? Well, years ago, the Lakers had a pick, and they elected to go small instead of big with Lottie Divac and went with a guy named Kobe Bryant. And they're hoping that they can have this similar type success by going small with D'Angelo Russell. It was a very good compliment to the team, you know. They already have a lot of guards on the roster. I'm surprised they didn't pick Okafor at number two. We'd like to see the inside outside that the Lakers are used to, especially when it comes to winning championships. Uh, hopefully he could fit in. That's it for us for now, but we'll have much more later.
It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony and Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. And in Chicago to start out. That's I no idea. Pass to Hibbert. And a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace what? analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach who goes with his own perception. Oh. Okay. Oops. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And it's the Bulls with the ball. That's it's a three-point game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's oh check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. They're ridiculous. So the Bulls five right now. At the four, it's Gasol with Noah at the five. Butler team to Dunleavy on the perimeter. And it's Rose in at the point. And former coach of the year, Byron Scott, now with the Lakers. And what? as you said, I Greg, he's not an analytics I guy. And back. Clark, I, I think he's a guy that... The eye test for him is yeah. huge. Yeah, he feels a lot. Terrific communicator and storyteller. Great experience as a player and as a champion. Just and I think that team. all is evident in his coaching style. Here's Kobe after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Kobe kicks to Hibbert. Let's it go from 14. Another shot, Randall. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? Man. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Bulls. And one feels bad for the way Julius Randle's career started. I was there that night, first no game of the I'm season, seventh game. pick out of Kentucky in the 2014 draft. Suited up for one game, broke his right leg 14 minutes in. And the guy that comforted him the most, I recall very vividly, Kobe Bryant yeah. stayed with him the entire time when he was really in shock on the floor. Yeah, he was. And unfortunately, for so many reasons, for one, he had really been progressing in, in the summer league. And the Lakers obviously had high hopes for him. And when he went down, that was the start of the rest of the ship kind of going down with him. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them beat you from deep. And, you know, going back to Randall's rookie year, his troubles really started during medical checkups before the draft. They found a foot injury dating back to high school. The fifth metal partial had been broken, which may be why he fell a few spots in the draft. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. You know what? A low percentage pass on that one, but sometimes it's worth the risk. Well, that time the risk did not pay off because it was well defended. Brandon Basses checked in for Los Angeles. Williams comes in for Clarkson. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. In the corner, it's Dunleavy. Kobe with the steal. And here right again, now, Los Angeles in transition. Up the court they go. And Hibbert with the basket on the assist by Williams. Hibbert's got five points so far. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It, it really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. You know, he just, like every other coach, can't stand when the defense gives up points on the inside. And boy, are they struggling in there. Yeah, well, they're getting pummeled in there. So you've got to figure out a way to make some adjustments to try to change that around. And that's why he needed the timeout. Yeah, the adjustment is me practicing playing this game. Because I'm terrible. Score. 
Now here's Rose. Pass to Gibson. Rose sets the screen for Gibson. He dishes it to Miritich. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Los Angeles on top. They lead by 14. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Man. Yeah, this is why I stick to Overwatch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man. Yeah, and before the game, that. Star Center Joe Keem Noah talked about the intensity of this Chicago Bulls team. I feel like we're the hungriest team in the NBA. That's a great feeling to be able to say that. Like, whether we shoot the ball well or don't shoot the ball well, win or lose, we know that we're going out there every night, giving everything we got with no regrets. You know, I think Joe Keem can certainly make a case, Clark, for Chicago being that famished five, especially with Rose back on the court. There's no doubting that, Kevin. I mean, even the addition of Gasol with his two rings, the way he left things in L.A., that left him with an appetite that has him still hustling. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. They've set the first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting the defenders on their heels. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. Nick Young and Kobe Bryant yes. throwing out the wing. Robert Sacre is out there with Brandon Bass. And it's Williams at the point. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Nikola Mirotic drafted as a late first-rounder card Come back on, in 2011. The Spanish star finally made his rookie debut in the NBA last season. And it was worth, it was worth the wait. It sure was, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, once he started to get consistent PT, I mean, he was remarkable. Can run like the wind for a big guy. Not that strong, but more aggressive than you'd think. Offensive rebound. Bulls trail by 16. Brooks outside. At the elbow, it's Gasol. Outside, Butler. Five on the clock. Gibson. The Lakers with the rebound. And here's the fast break. Bryant leading the way. Snatched up. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. <sighs> I think I'm getting used to this. Shooting two. <laughs> shooting two. Oh, man. Okay. Two. That one is off. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Sacre. Randall comes in for Brandon Bass. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Young. And it's Russell in for Williams. The Bulls also changing it up. Joakim Noah's checked in for Gibson. Dunleavy comes in for Miritich. And it's Rose in for Aaron Brooks. He hits the second from the line. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Butler against Bryant. Oh, oh no. Come on, Butler. <laughs> Take on this legend. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Three seconds left. And that concludes the first half. Lakers lead by 15. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Thank you, Kevin. I've got Kobe Bryant. And Kobe, tell us what's working for you guys defensively right now. Oh, well, keeping them out of transition, really. I mean, that's, that's really been the big key to have. Kobe, we appreciate the time. Gentlemen, over to you. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of quarter number three.
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Halftime show. Okay. I guess we could recap it. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We're going to break down the first half action for you. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They lead by 15. And we'll go to Kenny first. What'd you see out there? Boy, it was rough down there in the paint. And they were just dominant, taking it to the rack. But that's what you have to be willing to do. Take the action to the heart of the competition without any fear. That's why this is already a blowout. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Well, when you look at the opponent field goal percentage, that tells the whole story. They gave up way too many good looks. When they come out of the break, they got to play way tougher, Ernie. Get those hands up. Get in your opponent's face. Do something. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report as it's Try. just about Try time best. for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You look at D'Angelo Russell, what a contribution. Just in attack mode, he was able to get in the lane at will in that first half. Yeah, it really was aggressive attacking basketball at its finest. I mean, really a lot of fun to watch. Tipping off the second half, here's Fred Hoiberg's five. And small and power forward, it's Dunleavy and Gasol. Rose <sighs> is the one with Butler as the two. And it's Noah in at the center, filling out the middle. And last year, not exactly up to Noah's lofty standards. It was way down in field goal percentage and free throw percentages uh, compared to the season before, but he did not play completely healthy all of last year either. A little dinged up, missed 13 games more than he had the season prior, and, and also the minutes dropped as well, and you could just see him laboring at times on the floor, clearly affected by those injuries. Now here's Bryant following the miss by Derrick Rose. And it's Hibbert missing. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Kobe with the steal. And now Bryant pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. That's a great point. Ten of the last 12 points they've allowed ah, have come at the rim. Chicago calls timeout. And, you know, going back to Noah last season, I think the additions to the Bulls' front court had an effect on him. I mean, they added Gasol and Miritich, two major talents up front. I think that gave Noah less opportunities than he'd had the year you know, before. This play and it was an adjustment for him. Practice. And, guys, talking about Joe Kim Noah, he was still the spirit of that team last season. Amongst all the great talents the Bulls had, Noah was that energizer and catalyst for the team, a true warrior, even in an off year. Okay. Some changes for the Lakers. Bass comes in for Julius Randle, and Lewis Williams subbed in for Jordan Clarkson. The Bulls also changing it up. Miritich comes in for Mike Dunley, and Brooks subbed in for Butler. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Russell against Rose. And Mirotic has it in the corner. He feeds it to Noah. Back to Mirotic. Just five to shoot. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. I love the anticipation defensively the there to get crazy. into the perfect spot. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And finished off by Bass. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Bulls trail by 21. And here's Rose outside. Rebound by Williams. 13 feet away. No good off the front iron. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Los Angeles on top, running away with it. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when yeah, we return. I'm just glad I put points on the board.
Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. Chicago with the ball. Nick Young is out there with Randall. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Robert Sacre. Oh and it's Russell in a point guard. That's the Laker five. Now Noah following the three-point attempt by Derrick Rose. For three, Heinrich. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Ryan Kelly, he's checked in for Russell. Then for the Bulls. Portis, he's checked in for Noah. And Moore subbed in for Rose. Lakers leading by 21. To the paint. Here's Randall. There's the killer two-handed slam. That's leadership. Really, really valuable to have someone who can just take charge like he has. Well, there's a certain amount of confidence you have when the ball is in his hands at that end of the floor right now. I mean, he just gives you a sense of calm and confidence because of how good he is. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Los Angeles. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capabilities. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Kobe Bryant. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around game. And he sinks the second. Well, clearly the Lakers were not a great team. I mean, they did have one of their better bench units last season. They led the league in points off the bench, but that was more an indictment of the quality of the starters than the firepower of the bench. The Lakers shooting it as well as you're going to see, 67%. Clarkson kicks to Young. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kelly... A three-pointer, no good. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Portis. It's deflected. Come on. Let me have that one. Clarkson with the ball. All sorts of time. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Well, they're going to walk out of here with a win and send this crowd home happy. Yeah, you know, it was a real oh, no. solid performance for them in a lot of areas. I mean, they should be proud of their work tonight. Now, here's Heinrich. Gibson passes to Dunleavy. Ball's knocked loose. The dish to Clarkson. Almost made it down that lane. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. Yeah, they were clicking in every way. I mean, all cylinders go. No question about that. And once they pulled away, they didn't let up. And a chance now to send you over Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Kobe, tell us about the mindset of this team tonight and what you hope to accomplish. Just come out and play well. Just uh, play with a lot of energy. Execute well, read the defense well, and make unnecessary cuts. Talent and execution. Kobe, thank you so much. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Let's see what these guys have to say. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. He had a very nice night from the field tonight, shooting over 50%. That smooth, soft touch was working for him tonight. No matter how tight the D played him, yeah. he was still shooting it right player in their face. The Look, how many times have we seen games like this from Kobe? He was the primary option. They needed a bucket, he delivered. His game has evolved in the last few years, yeah. but the recipe was working tonight. 
And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.